Dear students, welcome to another session of geography class. Today we are going to deal with our third chapter. Which is our third chapter? Yes, migration. What do you mean by migration? Have you ever heard the word migration? Migration means a movement of people from one place to another place in view of settling down there or for better education or even for a better job facilities. So, in this chapter, we will be dealing with uh, the theme migration, its meaning, definition and its type and also we will be dealing with causes and effects of migration and in the third part we will be dealing with the brain drain and its uh, positive and uh, negative impacts so that's all about this chapter so we are going in detail and in this session we will be dealing with mainly as we have already said migration its uh, meaning types of migration before we begin our lesson i request you to take a small paper and also keep your textbook along with you uh, so if you find any uh, word difficult just underline that you can search the meaning in dictionary or in a google you will get it or uh, some are asking in the comment box some of the meanings uh, but it takes time to clarify it is better that you search or you surf in the net so that you will get it fast when you study so please keep uh, a paper with you and also keep a textbook underline the important points that you uh, get and learn them so let's go in detail so what do you mean by migration migration is movement of people from one place to another for settling down let me ask you a question today i am going from uh, bagalpur to uh, kolkata and probably by next week or maybe by tomorrow or day after tomorrow i'm going to return or I'm, i'll be returned back to bagalpur can i say that i'm migrating to kolkata no there is an issue so here i'm just making a travel so what's the difference between travel and migration guess what it would be migration means we are or a person moving from one place to another in view of settling down comparatively a longer period it clearly we don't say that for maybe for one week or something like that no maybe for a few months or maybe for few years uh, the person is going to get settled over there maybe for a economical uh, advancement or educational purpose so please keep in your mind that there are two things travel and migration they are not a single thing they are a different thing there can be two kinds of migration temporary or permanent so if i am moving to a place and living there for one or two years what it, what it is called yes you know it it is called temporary migration and if I am moving to Canada and staying there and I am planning to spend all my life over there then what do you call for it? Yes, that is permanent migration. So there are mainly two kinds of migration. So you know it. Now there are two processes in migration. Mainly there are two processes in migration. First one is emigration. So what do you mean by emigration? Emigration, you, have, you must have uh, come across the word emit or emission, which means going out, something like that, right? Yes, so emigration means uh, a person is going out of a region or a country. So they are called emigrants. Emigration, a person or a group of people going out of a region or going out of a country, it is called emigration they are called emigrants i hope you understand second one second process is immigration 
what do you mean by immigration a person or a group of people coming into a region or coming into a country that is called immigration and those people are called immigrants so we have learned two kinds of uh, uh, migration that is emigration and immigration for example one person is going from delhi to canada for settling there that is called emigration for india and immigration for canada because one person is going from india going out from india that is emigration and as far as canada is concerned one person is coming into the country or into the region and getting settled over there that is immigration for canada i hope this is very simple example and this concept is clear there are two more terms that we need to be familiar that is receiving country and sending country in this example which would be the receiving country yes i am going to canada or one person is going from delhi to canada so the receiving country will be canada and the sending country will be india so india is sending country when one person is going out of india and one person is coming into canada thus canada becomes their receiving country so we have learned a few terms now i'll just repeat emigration people are going out of a region or out of a country and immigration people are coming into a country or into a region now receiving country the country which receives the migrant okay and sending country from which the migrant migrate i hope this part is clear now let's move to the next part so now let's move to the next topic that is types of migration so generally there are two types of migration internal migration and external migration when we come to internal migration by the way what do you mean by internal migration it means movement of a people from one place to another within a region or within a country that is called internal migration this internal migration can be uh, divided into few categories i will explain one each the first one that is rural to urban what do you mean rural what do you mean by uh, rural region it means a village region right what do you mean by urban region yes uh, cities towns so there are a good number of migrations that take place across the country or across the world from rural region or rural area to the urban area you can guess why these kind of migration take place yes in villages there is no better social amenities and uh, better job opportunities better education so for all these there are good number of migration that take place from village that is from rural region or rural area to the urban area that is called the first type of migration that is rural to urban secondly urban to urban so urban region means we have already said that it is a town area right so from one town to another town one city to another town there are many uh, migration take place maybe from kolkata to mumbai mumbai to chennai or chennai to bangalore that is called urban to urban that is second category of second type of internal migration this also is for better job opportunities or uh, another uh education purpose or another job or a better uh, social amenities for anything for that matter yes the third one is rural to rural which means village area to another village area what would be the reason for this this type of migration 
have you ever thought of? Yes, maybe some farmers, maybe few farmers, they may move from one place to another place, one, uh, one village to another village for better uh, facilities for their agricultural purposes, maybe uh, irrigation or maybe some uh, fertile land. For these kind of uh, needs, they may move from one place to another, one village to another and get settled there and do the uh, agricultural activities. So that is third type, rural to rural. Yes, the fourth category of migration, you may wonder, that is urban to rural migration. Have you ever told that why people are moving from towns to villages? There are reasons. See, many of the towns are overpopulated, right? Housings and uh, traffics, uh, everything, it's so crowded. And there are few people who like very calm and serene atmosphere or a uh, uh, situation. So, which they don't get in cities. They prefer to live in a calm area like in villages. They prefer to move from uh, urban area to rural area to get settled over there. So that is the fourth type of migration that is urban to rural. So the fifth type of migration or fifth category of migration that is forced migration. Yes, that is also is one kind of migration, you know, uh, though, what do you mean by forced migration? Yes, the people do not like to move from uh, there, where they are living, from their hometown, but they are forced to move out of that region. There can be many reasons, maybe a civil war, maybe some government policies. For these kind of matters, people are not uh, allowed to live there. So they are forced to move out of that region that is called forced migration. The sixth and final type of migration that is a short term migration. You must have observed when there is flood in river Ganges, uh, the people who live nearby, they may move for a certain uh, period of time from there to a safer place. This is called a short term migration. I repeat the categories of uh, migration. The first one was uh, rural to urban. Secondly, urban to urban. And third one is rural to rural. And the fourth one is urban to rural. Fifth one was uh, forced migration. And the sixth one is uh, short term migration. So these are the major types of internal migration. Okay, now we are moving to the external migration. That is the major second type of migration. Okay, I hope you are not confused. You please keep the textbook along with you so that you will get a better clarity. Okay, so the next type of migration is external migration. What would be external migration? Internal migration, we have already uh, seen that uh, migration within a country, one place. To another place within the country right so external migration means a person or a group of people uh, moving out of a country or one country to another country one person or a group of people migrating from one country to another country that is called external migration this external migration also can be different types which are they the first one that is illegal migration. What do you mean by legal migration? Yes, legal, the word legal uh, indicates about the laws and all, right? So it fulfills or it, we get the legal permission from both the sending country and the receiving country, then that is legal migration. Secondly, illegal migration. We don't have uh, the permission to go to the receiving country but still we are migrating to there illegally that is called illegal migration so there are mainly two uh, external migration legal migration and illegal migration 
so the external migration also can take place due to another reasons like the famine if the famine occurs in a region if the uh, famine occurs in a country the people uh, naturally will migrate to another country so that is another reason and communal tension climate change all these are reason for other kinds of uh, migration external migration so this is our topic for today i conclude by recalling the important points which you which you are there which are there uh, we talked about migration its definition its meaning and its uh, emigration and immigration receiving country and sending country yes then we have come to the uh, different kinds of or types of migration uh, in that mainly we have seen about exter- internal migration and external migration in internal migration we have uh, learned a few types of migration that is uh, rural to urban urban to urban and uh, rural to rural and urban to rural and we have seen post migration and also we have seen short term migration in external migration can you say what what we have to see yes of course legal and illegal migration so we have seen few reasons few other reasons for uh, external migration like uh, famine communal tension and uh, climate change etc so this is our topic today so you have a homework you have to write down two questions in your copy Uh, not only questions of course the answers okay so the first question is define migration definition of migration that you can get from your textbook i have already explained but you as you go through your textbook you will get it and second question which are the types of migration you need to uh, write only the headings by the name itself or by the title itself you will be able to ex- explain what it is yes so hope to see you soon with another session so be safe at home thank you bye